did is just a follow-up video on a video I made long time ago about process. Whatever we do, we have to try to identify the process involved, basically all the steps involved. A lot of failure, a lot of, a lot of problems are caused because we don't have the, the accurate or the right process or procedure or steps and that in return can cause it a lot of time, hassle, frustration, confusion, can lost money and lost time. So it is crucial that you have to sit down or, or talk to people or do research in order to come up with, you know, the right process or the right procedures to do anything like, you can be a, what is the process of buying a used car off Craigslist, right? Or what's the process of buying a used car off, uh, Kelly Blue Book, you know, online, whatever. Of course, nothing is perfect, but with with a complete or very thoroughly a process, it will eliminate a lot of problems. And you can make checklists as well. It doesn't have to be complicated, but you need to start thinking of everything in, in process as a little system you might call or procedures. All the company have, have procedure manuals that people follow the same way with our life or, or our, our private or our family okay so because I, I talk to a lot of people and sometimes they don't know what they're getting into at all because they they fail to to do research you know not saying that you have to be like completely 100% confident that you know you have the right procedure but the more you know the more you do the better you know, uh, let, let me give an example. I did video earlier also about dealing with this. Uh, I had uh, some termite damaged boot and, you know, around roof area and whatnot and some broken tile, roof tiles. And I talked to a few people, including roofers and, uh, and one painting contractor who, you know, got pretty good reviews in my neighborhood. And he came in a pretty low bid, you know, and he promised he can do everything, including roof and tile. And of course, you know, this is not perfect, but the last thing he did not do right is that he did not replace some of my tiles and I ended up paying him the full amount. Now that's, that's not a good process, apparently, right? You don't pay them full amount until they complete it. But you know, he's, he got a nice attitude, you know, of course, before he get paid and all of that. And he promised, oh, we come back next week and finish it up, don't worry, blah, 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 you know, and then, and up, he never came back. He actually gave me a run around. Um, like uh, he had to order this roof tile from Mexico, <laughs> you know, give me a lot of BS. And he even, you know, kind of rude when I asked him, you know, so when in the come in, he actually type everything in big caps. That he would say something like that. We'll be there whenever the ties come from Mexico. You know, it's a big BS, big lie, right? It means it's nice older gentleman very experienced, that's, a, that's another thing. When you're dealing with very, very experienced contractor, they know the game, you know? And a lot of us are not well equipped or we are too nice, you know? So basically you have to write your contract or tell them, you know, when you think there's a problem, tell them that, you know, hey, I'm not gonna pay you, you know? You have to be tough, basically, you know? To, to follow your process, you're gonna tell them, I'm not, I'm not gonna pay you until, you know, the last step is done. I mean, you pay them most of it, but maybe you withholding three, four hundred dollars because it's gonna cost me six hundred dollars to, to complete my roof because a roofer is not gonna do it for a few hundred dollars. You know, it's kind of waste their time. They're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some other maintenance, you know. So very crucial with anything with, can, anything can be like getting married, getting a boyfriend, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of emotion, but what are your process to find the right guy? You know, if you want a right guy, you know, or you just want nice stand or whatever, you know, can be buying a house, very, very big investment. What are your process? I am, um, money is important. You want to get at the right, you know, the right price, but also other factors, you know, like potential, like house, you know, the space, the location. And I could have made a better investment if I, or, or you know, get a better home if I, willing to spend a little bit more than my budget. I mean, you know, it's, uh, buying house, if you have to pay like 20 or 30,000 more, is no, actually is no big deal with 30 year, 15 year loan. 
or you you can sell the house before that it's not a big deal so i i was uh short short sighted also my my wife complained hey we could have got that house you know instead we're buying a smaller house however it's in the, in the nice low kitchen but it also it comes with uh hoa for like 120 dollars which is not much but instead of buying a, a little bit you know bigger house better for a plan and spend 20 or 30 thousand dollar more you know i wanted i wanted to save money which is not the right process in this case to 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 get a smaller house it's it nice but you know come to think about it i should have gotten the other house for sure you know that's the mistake i make so when you're buying a house make sure that don't don't be skimmed with 20 or thirty thousand if you're gonna get a much better house you know because if you're being too cheap then you might lose a, like a lot of other good aspects, you know. So all of those, you know, I want to share in my videos as well. You, you've got to define your process correctly. Talk to people, do research, step one, two, three, two, ten, or whatever, and follow through, you know. And dealing with contractors or, or businesses, unfortunately, you got to be tough and firm you know i mean you you can con communicate them through text now if you don't feel like talking to them like you know being firm or whatnot just text them hey i'm not gonna pay you because you haven't done this you know so you know just want to let you know up front you know so then they're not trying to pull you something you know because this guy playing games a lot of business they're, they're playing games especially the one that have a lot of experience they probably have had more experience dealing with customer one than you so you playing that game but you got to be smarter with the right process so that's what i mean anyway hope it helps and and share your com your comments or, or suggestions anything like that i think uh, defining process is a procedure the right procedure procedure is very crucial for anything in life life or work and business and things like that you need to have a better process and better plan of handling and also have backup plans or, or you know you run into issues you have a section of if you run into these issues this is a process that you're going to be doing to counter or to minimize your loss or whatnot you know so what i did with the bad contractor actually filed a complaint a complaint um at bbb better business bureau and online and very quickly you can check my previous video and they already contact the guy you know the the crook <laughs> the crook uh who, who keep lying to me that he waiting for stuff from mexico you know a couple ties from mexico i mean how he think I, I was stupid yeah i mean i should have not have paid him all the full amount but but um that's my process to to you know so i i gave him bad yelp review i gave him bad reviews on uh, on next door application again you know uh just to make sure that you know other people will not fall victims to him you know things like that so and and any uh, bad deed will be consequence you know so you can use bbb to complain against business if you try to work it out and, and they give you a hard time so this are the process i'm talking about right so it's how, it's how we learn we grow we get smarter you know blah 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 so it can be the same with election next election what what are your process what are you gonna, gonna do you know you might we may we may not get the best or the perfect candidate you know for president but you you just have a process at least you know anyway see you folks later and um have a great weekend and stay stay cool it's getting very hot here in california and see you folks on the next video bye